Daily Gospel Reflection, Luke 10 38-42, Tuesday of the 27th week A, October 10, 2023. Today's Gospel is about Martha and Mary, the two sisters of Lazarus whom Jesus was raised from the dead. It seems that the two of them are different from each other. Martha accepts the responsibility of taking care of the house to see to it that the house runs smoothly, meals are properly prepared and those who come to visit their home will be treated well. On the other hand, Mary seems she is not so concerned with household chores and not so eager to fulfill daily responsibilities. When Jesus visits them in their home, Martha is so busy preparing food in the kitchen to the extent that she doesn't have time to sit and listen to Jesus. But Mary welcomes Jesus and takes the opportunity in listening to him. Mary sits at Jesus's feet. During Jesus's time to sit at the master's feet is to be his disciple. This is the place reserved only for men and not for women. Martha knows this. She feels embarrassed and apologetic for her sister. Martha sticks faithfully to the accepted practice that her role is to cook and serve the master and not to sit at his feet. She does her role with love. Jesus rebukes Martha not because of her serving but because of her attitude. He said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing, Luke 10:41-42. So the problem is not about her serving but about her complaining and self-pitying attitude. She is so caught up in activity to the extent that she misses to see what is really important as his disciple and that is, to spend time at the Saviour's feet, honour and serve Him. What is our attitude when we serve God? Perhaps our attitude is one of neglect, as somebody had said. It is because we don't have time to be still and listen to God and very busy in doing our works and meeting our responsibilities in our jobs. To tell you frankly God helps us to get our work done. What He really wants from us as His followers is to make time for Him. And so this is the time for us to have a checklist of what we are going to do for him and rethink our attitude so that in everything we do, these bring glory to him alone. Anne Bile said, don't get so busy doing that you have no time for being. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God.